ありがとうございます。Good day, mga ka online palaboy. The journey continues here in Shinjuku, and the day is still stretching ahead. I'm still captivated by the idea of filming Godzilla roaring at dusk. While I'm biding my time, I thought of dropping by at Don Quixote to gather some souvenir ideas. Stay tuned for the next episode, where I'll take you on a complete walkthrough of the place. My order arrives, and I notice the ramen comes with separate broth. After my delightful dipping ramen adventure, my sweet tooth is craving some treats. I found the boba station to satisfy my cravings, and naturally, I opted for a matcha drink. As I stroll around, I made a pleasant discovery that one of the ramen shops on my bucket list is just around the corner. So I decided to visit Ichiran. To my surprise, the shop is situated in the basement, although it appears to be at the ground level from the outside. Luck is on my side. There are only a few people in the queue. Once I got inside, I was asked to place my order at the machine. At the waiting area, the staff handed me a form to customize my ramen preferences, including flavor strength, broth richness, garlic and green onion toppings, slice of pork, spiciness level, and of course, the firmness of the noodles. During the queue, friendly Korean guy next to me returned a 100 yen that I had accidentally left at the vending machine. Kam sa hamida! After a while, the staff directed me to the cubicle number 10. It's quite typical in Japan to have a personal faucet in the cubicle. Regrettably, I missed capturing how the staff handed the ramen from behind the curtain because I was busy changing my camera battery. Take a look of their setup. They serve everything generously, 
from noodles to pork and the side dishes. However, I was a bit frustrated with the egg. I couldn't peel the shell properly and it left a somewhat rough texture. The soup on the other hand was absolutely fantastic. It was exactly what I had been craving. Rich and full of flavors. However, there was a particular dish that didn't appeal to my taste buds. It seemed bland in texture and slightly hard. After some research, I discovered it, it was a type of mushroom called kikurage. Unfortunately, it's just not my cup of tea. I do wish I had made my ramen extra spicy for a more exhilarating experience. This ramen shop is a perfect haven for those seeking to enjoy a quality time on their own. Here, nobody will disturb you and even the staff behind the curtain respects your privacy and ensuring no distraction. The only way to communicate with them is by using the call button. See this plate if you need something or have any request simply use these plates one that you are temporarily leaving your seat another to show that you're unsure about the ordering process and the last one if it's too noisy you can complain it Seems some customers are enjoying it a little much, evidenced by their cheerful chatter. I like to try this one, just kidding. <laughs> the noodles have filled me up and I'm afraid I won't be able to finish it all. Now I'm eager to satisfy my dessert craving. Observe, as I press this button and place this little tray, it's my signal to request my dessert. Then the stop will appear from behind that curtain. I decided to order a matcha almond pudding. I cannot never resist anything with matcha on the menu. Mm -hmm. Try nothing. Mm -hmm. Ay, 
Pagkabili sa mga pangyayang. Ito lang. Ang bali, high definition naman itong camera natin. Kapatcher naman natin. This dessert is fascinating. The matcha syrup is separated, allowing you to customize your plating. However, I must admit, I wasn't completely satisfied with the matcha dessert. I was hoping for a much bolder matcha taste. Nevertheless, I thoroughly enjoy my dining experience, especially the ramen. I highly recommend trying it. I don't mind waiting in queue just to release this delicious ramen. As the clock approaches 6 o'clock and Godzilla is about to roar again, I must capture this moment. So let's go!